Hi everyone, it's really great to have you with me today. So I'm going all metallics. I've got a 20 by 20 inch canvas and I'm going to use a gold, a bronze, a copper and a silver. All my paints are mixed with just paint and water. One part paint to one part water. And I'm just doing a graphite base. And I'm going to see how those metallic colours react with the graphite base. So, I've got a mixture of Amsterdam and Pebeo paints. All of those details are going to be listed in the description box below. So check that out for more information. But first of all, let's get the graphite base down on the canvas before we start layering our paints to blow the paints out using the Dutch pour method. As you know by now, if you've followed me for a while, you know I'm an advocate for mindfulness and really enjoying being in the moment of the here and now. So when you're doing your painting, just enjoy every stage of that process. You'll see here the base colours down. I'm using my torch to pop any of the air bubbles. And now I'm going to take one colour at a time and puddle them in the middle of the canvas and then blow it out using my hairdryer. So I'm starting off with the copper and I'm just adding a puddle directly in the center. And then I'm gonna take my gold and I'm gonna puddle that next to the copper. And I'm gonna do that in turn with each of those paints. I'm just gonna add a puddle next to each other in the center. Next is the silver. And I'm already really enjoying to see the contrast of these colours against the graphite background. I normally go for black on the background, but I thought I'd just do an all metallic. So that's why I've opted for the graphite. So, they're my main colours down. But I'm also going to puddle the colours on top of each other. But different colours on top of the original puddle. So here I've just put the gold on top of the copper. I've put the bronze on top of the silver and I'm adding the silver on top of the gold. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit more of the base colour around the edge and then I'm going to start blowing out the design. The reason for adding more of the base colour is because I want the design to really flow on top of the canvas. If there's not enough paint on the base, when you go to blow it out, it's not going to travel smoothly across the base of that canvas. Therefore, by adding the extra paint will ensure that there's enough flow to the design when you're blowing it out. My hairdryer is always on a cool setting and it's on the lowest blow setting possible. But I do put my blow dryer quite close to the painting when I do the design and the blowout. So I'm just going to blow the design over on itself first and then I'm going to tweak it by blowing out each side, taking a step back, having a look at the overall composition before continuing to blow the design out to the full edge. Once you've got a good idea of the design itself, so I'm literally blowing this out from the center to the edges. I think about the negative space that I want to keep. So the, the color that's already down on the base versus the colors that I've layered on top. So with this one, I really want some wispy edges. I want it to be a really soft kind of design Therefore, I'm going to blow the paint that I've layered from the center right out to the edge. 
and that's going to soften the design itself it's going to allow some wispy edges to be created and it's going to really allow that paint to react and create some nat natural cells and lacing and as you can see here the cells are already forming throughout some of these colors don't be scared to add more paint if you need to but it's always to add less first blow it out and then add more after i always find it's it's more difficult to work with a piece if there's too much paint on it plus you don't want to waste your paints and blow too much over the edge onto your table anyway even though you can recycle that as a flow extender So I'm nearly done with this design, so I'm going to take my torch and remove any of the excess air bubbles that I can see. And this is the wet version. So I'm going to take you in for a closer look so you can see some of that detail. You can see how some of the colours have infused with each other. But you can also see how the cells have naturally formed throughout this piece. This is because I've used a fluid consistency with metallic paints. I always find I can get natural cell reaction by using these type of metallics. And it goes all the way around the design, around the edges and in the center. I've managed to keep some of that negative space, that graphite color on the base, compared with the colors that we've layered on top. So I'm gonna let this dry and then I'm going to show you a dry version. So let me show you the dried version, here it is. And I really love that balance of the colours that we've puddled on top and blown out to the edge versus the graphite base, the background colour that we've used that really pops through and it actually really illuminates those colours that we've layered. It really makes them pop out and it's almost like a 3D look to this piece. I really also love how those cells have naturally formed. I hope you've enjoyed this. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you're having a great week and thank you all for all of your support. It really does mean a lot to me. I'll leave you with some of the further details and don't forget to check out the description box below for other details about the paints that I use, the technique, the canvas size and lots, lots more. I really hope I get to see you again in the next video. Take care everyone. Bye.